What's up guys, EB Macintosh Tips. Today is Monday, which means I've got a great tip for you guys on your Mac. Today, it's gonna be strictly for the OS on your dock. All right, next week we're gonna focus more on the iPhone and iPod Touch, show you the best applications we've found for those devices, plus jailbroken. Today I'm gonna show you all the apps in, in my dock so you can take advantage of those you've never heard them before. Majority of them I'm gonna go over are free. If they cost a little bit, I'll tell you how much they cost. Uh, so you guys sit back and enjoy. And hope you enjoy these applications I've shown you. And last but not least, before I show you these, all the applications I'm going to cover, we have done videos on previously. So you can just click on the app that I've shown you uh, right here in the dock, and then it'll go to you right to the video. Hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off this What's in My Dock with Safari. Now, everybody should know what Safari is. If you don't know what Safari is or you use strictly Firefox, uh, I've found great extensions for Safari. Uh, to navigate so through Safari better, to manage your stuff a little better. And Scoot actually did a cool video a few months ago over Safari. Just click Safari on the bottom of the dock there, and it'll go right to that extension. Uh, and yeah, Safari all the way. Don't really care for Firefox. And of course, everyone knows Windows Explorer is a piece of crap. Okay, next one I'm going to go over is going to be um, iPhoto, and this is uh, the whole suite iLife 2011. And if you want to watch the whole suite, you can just click the annotation above all three of them. If you want to watch strictly iPhoto, iMovie, or GarageBand, you can click those things in the dock right now. iMovie strictly manages your photos. I did several views on that, and if you click the one in the dock, it goes to the one strictly for 2011 uh, version uh, through Snow Leopard. Moving on to iMovie, we did several tutorials on iMovie. Uh, one of them was how to do a green screen, uh, how to how to do um, snap to the beat, um, and the last one we did I think was to, to do synced up, synced up audio. And of course, if you just click uh, the actual link, it'll get, take you to a playlist. You can watch all of them, and it really is uh, handy to go and watch. Now, GarageBand, we really don't cover much in GarageBand, but the one tutorial we did cover that was just blew GarageBand out of the water was when we actually found out how to do auto-tune and Scooter did a great video on GarageBand demonstrating auto-tune so if you click GarageBand it will shoot you right over there to auto-tune tutorial real fun video and it will be great for you to record have fun with your friends and family uh, the next three videos I'm going to show you guys are strictly or sorry four videos is strictly for your eyesight uh, and any kind of recording feature whether it be to take photos or to record your desktop or with your eyesight camera, which is built in right there. Uh, so the first one we'll go over is ScreenFlow, and that's the number one question we still get every day about our videos is what do you use to record your videos? And we actually did a five part series uh, on how to record your videos in ScreenFlow, how to manage them. Um, ScreenFlow is not free, it's $99. $99. We have done several giveaways. If you miss those giveaways, I'm sorry. Um, but we, we do try to do, do giveaways throughout throughout the year. Uh, so if you just frequently watch the videos, you'll know what app's coming up. Um, and so you stay tuned for that. But ScreenFlow is $99. $99. It is definitely um, worth it. I know Soldier knows best. A lot of other top YouTubers that do uh, strictly tech use ScreenFlow. Um, there is the Camtasia. We have done a review over Camtasia. Don't really care for Camtasia. It, it doesn't have all the editing features this is more of preset preferences if you want something that has custom features you can do this or you know shoot yourself over there it doesn't matter you can do that right here in ScreenFlow so it's easy simple and if you click the annotations I've got a five video series or you can just click right there on ScreenFlow and it'll go over to our playlist the second one involving your eyesight is photo booth uh, if you don't know what photo booth is uh, some people don't compare their doc, just search it up here in the spotlight and it'll come up. So you just search photo booth. And if you don't know what photo booth is, it's a way to go actually go on, use your eyesight and take goofy, goofy pictures. Um, and I actually did an extension, a photo booth extension tutorial uh, several months ago and it actually adds dozens of more extensions, whether it be to do the whole like fake green screen, um, do different video effects. So if you want more uh, effects in photo booth just click on photo booth right now it shoots you over that video you can watch it and uh, have fun with it all right the next two are probably the ones you're gonna goof around with your friends with besides photo booth and that's fun booth and moso uh, fun booth is is a really funny um, face recognition tracking application it uses your eyesight as well uh, you basically have set mustaches or glasses or you can even upload custom uh, images and have them track your face, your nose, your eyes, or whatever you tell it to track. 
So as you move around the screen, it tracks, you know, puts a mustache on you or whatever it is. So it's kind of funny uh, and it's cool. To, it's clever to make videos like that. Uh, and lastly, for the eyesight uh, is Moso. Last week, Scooter did a video over Moso. Great, great uh, application to do cool annotations like a boxing glove hitting the face, uh, cool warp effects for your screen, and pop-up titles that you can add as you're recording. Uh, quick little fun and quick videos uh, with your friends and family. So go check out that by clicking the uh, doc right there. Moso, great app for your eyesight. Photoshop, you get, you know, we'll go on to that. You guys know what this is. Uh, Tweety, now, as you guys know, I did a Twitter battle, and if you click that application, um, if you click Tweety, it'll go to the Twitter battle video. I went over Tweety, uh, TweetDeck, and Twirl. Now, these three applications are probably the top of the line right now uh, for your Mac, and I went over all three of them, with the, did the pros and cons and comparisons of what I like and my end result, and I, I definitely like Tweety overall the best. It doesn't have as many features as TweetDeck, but it's compact, it's easy to use, and this is my main Twitter client. So when you guys get a tweet from us uh, on, on, from the Mac, it's right here up through Tweety. Great app. And if you want to go check out that Twitter battle, just click Tweety. Uh, and the last three I'm going to go over are really cool. Um, Note Look can actually be found in the Mac App Store. Uh, Better Touch Tools is free, and so is Miro. Um, oh, Twi Tweety is free as well. Uh, Better Touch Tools, I did a video on this uh, several weeks ago. It, you can do your trackpad, your keyboard, or your magic mouse. Uh, especially if you have the multi-touch um, trackpad uh, or the or the uh, the magic mouse with the, the whole trackpad on top, um, and it basically allows you to do full gestural movements on your trackpad or mighty mouse or key set um, combinations with your keyboard um, to do crazy things like open up spaces, do quick commands, uh, minimize windows, turn your volume up and down, and you can do these and customize them right there in my touch tool. So if you click that video, it should you rather to the tutorial. It's a great great app. I use it on a daily basis. All right. Note look, I was actually contacted uh, through YouTube um, through a guy that actually made this app uh, and he put it in the Mac App Store and I checked it out. Uh, I, I want to say it is 99 cents, uh, is when I downloaded it. He gave me a promo code for it though, and it's well worth it. It basically takes your um, stickies or your notes that you have here on your Mac, it uh, integrates them into a really clean, organized system where you can import your notes you can even export them if you would have them in individual notes or you can keep them right there in note look application keep them well organized for every class you have or business meeting or whatever it is great app all right uh, the last one we're going to go over from my doc is called miro uh some of you guys have never heard this before i did a video on it a few months ago i didn't get as many views as i thought it was going to be but this is still one of my great uh favorite apps for downloading and watching youtube videos now this is strictly for videos that I want to download and have on my Mac. Don't think you're going to go to this application and just watch YouTube videos and it's not going to take up space on your computer. It's much slower because it has to buffer the full video as it's downloading. Um, but Miro, it downloads HD videos uh, through Google Video, um, you know, through YouTube and several other video servers that you can access and download HD video right there for free. So that's Miro. So if you guys just click the ones in my dock, I'm going to go over two more that actually I carry in my menu bar. Um, and uh, that's about it. So um, if you just click on them, it'll, it'll shoot you over there. So the last one we're going to go over is called SMC Fan Control. Uh, Scooter did a video a few weeks ago on this. Um, if you ever hear kind of the loud buffering noise in some people's videos, especially if they're using ScreenFlow, it uses a lot of memory and, and it uses a lot of the processor and it, your computer tells your fans, run faster, run faster to cool this machine down. Um, now, if you're using a video or uh, recording a video and that buzzing noise gets really, really irritating, you just download this app and if you, if you just click right here in the menu bar, it'll shoot over that video and it'll allow you to control your preferences, the fan speeds and all that. Very, very simple and easy to do. And the last but not least, favorite app that I um, use on a daily basis is called Jump Cut. Now, Jump Cut allows you to, whenever you copy something, uh, it basically puts it in a little storage unit right there, easy to access. You can do unlimited copies and then go over there and click it and then paste it so you don't just have one copy and paste. So if you just click those things in the menu bar or you click the ones on the dock, it'll shoot right over that a video. I'm E.B. McIntosh Tips. Hope you enjoyed this Monday video. Uh, I talked to a guy, if you never heard of an application called Prey, I'm going to do a review on that next week. It's a great way to track your iPhone or any of the mobile devices such as your computer, laptop, or Android phone. 
um, with the with the uh, GPS technology, um, and it basically te keeps your stuff uh, safe. Uh, if it ever is stolen, it should be easy to track. Next, we're going to be covering the Prey application, and the guy from Prey actually challenged you guys through a contest. And I'll remind you guys in the content uh, in the video about the contest. But you guys that are watching this video, you guys get a head start. So here's the contest. You guys go download Prey, get the free version. As you're using Prey, you come up with the best slogan for the Prey application. And I'll put the description uh, below um, if you want to download Prey uh, ahead of time so you can get a kind of a heads up. Um, so when I review that, you review the application. Um, but all you do, download the application and check it out in the description. And then all you do it below in the comments is you say what your best slogan is for Prey. And I'll pick the best slogan as long as with the person uh, that, that manages the app. And we'll give you a free full pro version of uh, Prey for free. So it's simple. All you got to do is type some stuff below. You guys are watching this video, get a heads up. The other people that miss out on this video, got to wait till next week. Anyways, guys, EB Macintosh Tips, stay tuned. And yes, thanks for watching the videos. I really enjoy it. Peace.